All right, we're getting ready to clean a two bedroom apartment and we have not vacuumed or anything yet. The only thing we did do previously, there was a big red stain right below that outlet. It was a candle. So we had a big, uh, a bit of candle wax and a red stain we removed with the steamer, but we did that a few days ago. And the rest of the carpet wasn't ready to be cleaned yet. So this is the living room. We got one bedroom over here, and you can see there's just debris everywhere. The carpets aren't in too bad a condition, so that ought to come out pretty well, but it needs a good vacuuming. We're going to rake it first, of course, and we're going to do all the edges for the Dyson and the uh, uh, wand. And here, short little hallway, and the larger of the two bedrooms. Let's see, see, there's a fair amount of debris. Things like this uh, Q-tips that you see, you don't want to try to vacuum those up with a, any vacuum really unless it's a, like a heavy duty wet dry vac or something. But that's the kind of stuff you want to go around and try to pick up by hand. And It looks neat when people vacuum that stuff up with their vacuum cleaners if they're doing a demo or something like that, but it's actually the kind of stuff that can you, you can uh, actually ruin your vacuum or break a part in it where you're down for the day trying to fix it. And so. That's best to pick that stuff up, even long pieces of thread like that. You don't want to get that wrapped into the end caps of your brush roll. So anyway, we're going to do the preliminary work off camera. And then uh, we'll come back and show the main part of the vacuuming being done. So stay tuned. Okay, we've raked the carpets and we went around with the Dyson and did all the edges. And now we're getting ready to vacuum this living room. So we're going to and we're, we're going to do this is a pre vacuum in case we didn't mention that. So we're going to go around now and uh, do that real quick. So here we go.
don't know how much uh, dirt we're going to get out of this. It looks like a pretty good carpet. We got millions of long blonde hairs. So we're assuming if someone vacuumed and couldn't get the hairs, but got the dirt, that don't sound reasonable. So we could get a lot of dirt out of this, but we know there's a ton of hair in the carpet. We'll put a bag up. up. See if there's any sign of it. Yeah. Hair everywhere. The coat of hair. So. In fact, I think we're gonna. There's a uh, piece of wire. We're gonna pull the vacuum apart, and clean it real quick before we go on. We have two more rooms to vacuum, but we're gonna put a back dump at the end of this video, and it's gonna be for the whole apartment. So keep that in mind. And we're gonna do a back dump. We'll probably put the back dump at the end of each video because we're gonna make three individual videos. But uh, that's coming up next, so stay tuned. All right, let's see what's in the bag. Not too much. Not as bad as usual. It's mostly just hairs on the surface then. And it, well, just stuff. Stuff. it was a brand new carpet too. It's only a couple months old. Yeah. And here's the edge, cleaning. Not too bad. It's still a lot of fine dirt and everything. A lot of fine dirt. Anyways, that's it for this one. And uh, until next time, thanks for watching.